but there's nothing like being able to show testimonies of people who did your program and made money. Take, take advantage of this, y'all, because it's, it's a low supply for this demand. I got a guy, we're getting ready to give him a check for $5,000. What did that cost him? He became an affiliate one time, one time, one fee. There's no additional cost to that. So that's a beautiful thing. You become an affiliate one time, you make money ongoing, ongoing. How are you watching this right now? Open up your Facebook account and message every last friend on your list and say, send me a screenshot or email me your electric bill for this month. I'm gonna help you with that. If your business model is not making you money consistent, if it sucks, if it is not helping out the environment, then this is a business model that you want to pay attention to. I brought on a CEO of a green energy company that is renewable energy. And she's going to show you exactly why you should be promoting uh, products and services like EV chargers and solar panels and pretty much change in the world. OK, so I'm going to let her introduce herself, please. All right. Hey, my name is Robin Mansell. I am the CEO of Green Energy Solutions team. And we provide solutions in green energy and sustainable living and green buildings. We help people go green and not just in commercial, but also in residential and in all. Perfect. Perfect. So that's straight to the point. Let's hop right in. Yeah. Um, like, how did you get into the renewable energy and green energy business? And how many years have you been doing this? So in 2011, I had my first granddaughter. And I started thinking about the world that she would inherit. I started thinking about what is that going to look like for her? What is that going to look like for our children? Because mm -hmm. after we're long gone, what is it that they're going to you know, find themselves faced with? So I went back to school for environmental studies. During that time, during the course of uh, going through a number of classes that were pertaining to what's going on in our environment, I learned how important this really is. Um, what do we do with the world? What do we do with our communities? And so it touched on a number of things, uh, probably a little early to the game in 2011, because a lot yeah. of people weren't thinking about that. It wasn't popular, but um, it set me on the path to where I am today. Okay. Yeah, I can see that. So, all right. So elect vehicles and not, uh, Tesla, you know. All of this extra stuff, like that stuff is super popular. It's in high demand right now. Um, mm -hmm. On a one to 10 scale, how how likely is it that it will be in high demand in about 10 years? Well, I mean, we're the future. We're already there. So this has been in the works for the last, I'm going to say for the last 20 years, been in the works. The government already knew this is the direction that we were going because it's actually their job to maintain and make sure that, you know, the planet still is here and exists. So you're talking about 2011 when I went back to school, I was learning about those things, about how uh, fuel is damaging our soil. So there's a reason for these things. They're they're all interconnected. And so we are at the tipping point of a direction. The train's already out this already out the station. And there is no going back. And a lot of people, if you check history, if you go back and check, uh George Bush signed one of the largest green deals in 2005. People a lot of people were not paying attention. 2005, that was the largest green deal. Fast forward to 2022 and the latest uh, green bill, the largest green bill, is the inflation reduction. And that is where all of this is coming in. So it, I like to tell people that because it crosses political parties. It's not a political party. This is a world issue. And so it's very important that we pay attention to what's going on. Yeah, it's exciting to talk about Tesla. I have a Tesla, but I have <laughs> pictures on my social media. I was talking about Tesla in 2009. Wow. Yeah, in 2009. This is not new. It's been in the works. It's just that until the first Tesla came off of, you know, kind of came out and was able for purchase, I think that was 2012, something around there. People wow. weren't really paying attention to it. It's just real popular now. You know how things go. Now, all of a sudden, if you see it more, you think, oh, my gosh, look what's going on. But it's been going on. It's been going on. See, one thing I like about you is you practice what you preach, y'all. She got a Tesla. There's a lot of people <laughs> here talking this stuff, but, that you know, their houses and their, their cars and what they actually do don't actually match up. Match with up. What mm -hmm. about. So that's cool. All right. Okay. So green energy 
renewable energy. Is that the same thing? Um, yeah, it's interchangeable. Anytime you use words like green energy, renewable energy, sustainable, we're talking about the same thing. Okay, cool, cool. Okay, so it has longevity. All right, guys, you have security. If you become an a uh, when this is not a if when you become an affiliate promoting things like solar panels and EV chargers, what you got to remember is it's still a crap load of you know uh, old school setup around the world. So it's going to be a long time before people switch over. And even when they switch over, it's going to be upgrades after that. So you have security in promoting these types of products and services. Um, so let me let me ask, what role do affiliates play in the expansion? Great question. Um, our affiliates are like, um, I don't know if you ever read the book, uh, the, the, the uh, most salesperson in the world, the greatest salesman, Osmandino. So mm -hmm. Osmandino, that book talked about, uh, he was a car salesman and he had what they call bird dogs, right? Yeah. So that's what our affiliates are. So yeah. we make it as simple for them as possible, but as lucrative too, because we can't be everywhere, right? How exactly. can I be everywhere? How can I know about everything? So literally like Osmandino did, we have our affiliates that are out there paying attention. Now we tell them, also where to fish. So mm -hmm. say, for example, there's a, an article about what's going on in Michigan, what's going on in California. We make sure they know it. So we're like their cheat code. We're the cheat code. Yeah. And Man. so what they, yeah, what they get from us is, hey, let me tell you what's happening in legislation right now. Let me tell you what's happening over here in your state. Because a lot of people, as you know, do affiliate work as a uh, supplemental income, right? Yeah. Or as a, they want to make extra income. So a lot of them have a job until they can be anti-job like they're promoting. They have yeah. a job. Yes. So we want to give them the best barrier with the uh, least amount of work that they have to do. They have to keep their eyes open. And I'm already telling you where to fish. I'm like, no, 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 no. Go over there. Yeah. That's where it is. And now talk to people about it over there in that direction. We lead them in the right direction. Perfect. So it's a perfect marriage, y'all. So this is your way of getting into the green energy and the renewable energy, solar energy industry, okay? <laughs> This will allow you to actually build a business without actually having to build the business. She and her partners have already done all of the work. Um, they have the products, the services, uh, and what you guys' duty would be, your, your duty in the partnership, equal importance, all right, is to like, uh, okay, a good, good example, right? Um, and this is where they got it from. I just, it's crazy, but I just figured this out. Even though I'm, you know, I'm from South Side St. Louis, people, the world think that's the country. St. Louis is the country because of Nelly, right? But it's actually a city. So, uh, I didn't know the true meaning of a bird dog. I didn't know the origin of it was when, you know, they go hunting and they shoot the, the, the birds out the air and the dog runs to get the bird. It's a, it's a bird dog, right? So it always sounded weird because I, I used to do wholesaling, like wholesaling real estate. And I had bird doggers and, you know, I would recruit bird doggers and stuff, but I never looked at it like that exactly. So it makes a lot of sense. So guys, what she's saying is there I'm going to tell you where the hot spots are. I call it yep. um, hot, hot fish. It's a difference between cold fish and hot fish. If, you, if you're a bear and you're fishing, you want to be upstream, not downstream. You want to be at the point where the fish are just hot. You ever saw the videos where the bear will be just standing there and the fish hops out the water and they just <laughs> grab it and walk? That's exactly what she's trying to get y'all to see right here. Because if you start going into this business on your own without any experience, just YouTube and videos and stuff. It doesn't matter if you go and get some affiliate link from somewhere else. If you don't have the mentorship and the training, it's going to be just because it's popular doesn't mean it's easy to sell or get people to sign up. To, right. So she's going to show you part of the stream where the fish are hopping up out of the water. And all you got to do is be the bear and just open your mouth. Like if you watch the videos, the bear is literally just open the mouth and a fish jump in. So uh, that's pretty much what, she, what she's talking about for you guys. OK, uh, did I get that right? I love how you said that. You, you just literally I could see it. 
I could visualize and you know, it's real popular to tell really good stories and you do a, you did an excellent job with that because that's really what it is. I mean, you covered every part of that. And that's why I say we're the cheat code. We're your cheat code. We're your yeah, cliff notes. Yeah. Cause I already been exactly. there. So exactly. I've done, you think about it, 2011, we are now in 2024. So this has been a part of my life. I'm not jumping into it because it's quick because back in 2011, there was no money really in it. Yeah. There wasn't any money. There was nothing more than a, oh, wow, that looks like this is the direction that we're going. And yeah. I decided to stay course. So okay. you do have a lot of people jumping in because they see it's a hot quick. And, and I'm saying, OK, well, even if that's your thing, let me show you the way to do it. Exactly. Right. You're not going to mm -hmm. you're not going to necessarily get the same amount of respect that I get. When I go in and I say, hey, I'm with, in which I am, I'm the new chair for the U.S. Green Building Council in my area, Inland Empire. When I say things like that, I get a lot of credibility because mm -hmm. people who are in this space, they know who the U.S. Green Building Council is. They're like, oh, really? And yeah. so that's an important part. I've done that. I I've already set tone and I'm sending you to the low hanging fruit. OK, so you guys get to leverage her credibility and authority. See, if you just go off and try to do this on your own, you start from zero. You know, you, you start from zero, no name, no brand, no nothing. And sometimes, all right, whatever, depending on your goals and aspirations or whatever, if you want to start from scratch, do your thing. But if you're just trying to find a way, like she said, to be anti-job, exit your your nine to five, you know, uh, man, chains, oppression, uh, then this is an opportunity that has longevity. This is an opportunity that can pay big. And we'll get to that in a minute. This is an opportunity that is uh, uh is enough for everybody to go around you don't have to have a scarcity mindset either um um uh, man it was something i wanted to say but i love where her mind is at guys on my channel we talk about leverage i'm i'm literally obsessed with leverage 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 at the end of this year or like in the middle of next year i'm supposed to be doing a mastermind and it's called lords of leverage um and you are pretty much there with me so bird dog that's like where she went with it as you see we had i had we had that in common i have an affiliate network i teach them to start growing their affiliate networks too even when i was an affiliate watch this when I was an affiliate of someone else's company and things were difficult for me, I looked and paid attention to people that were getting sales. And then I found offers they weren't running and I would like run an ad that will get some results and whatever. And then I would send the same offer to them and have them promote my offer for me. So I was I was getting affiliates even when I was an affiliate, you know, because I would have these exclusive offers. They didn't know where to go get them. So I would just have them, hey, go get me some sales from this and I'll split it with you. So, hey, guys, you are in the. Uh, 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 the company of greatness right now. Okay, so let's get to the EV chargers. I'm super excited about the EV chargers. Okay, how do uh, do your EV chargers align with the evolving landscape of transportation right now? So I uh, don't know if you saw the um, article from the Department of Energy and uh, the Department of Energy Secretary Janice Tellen. She went out no. across the United States I don't know if you saw that. And she said they they weren't enough EV chargers out there. They could not um, successfully travel from across the United States. And so that opportunity is huge because what happened first was the EV with car, you know, with Elon talking about it and everybody getting excited. Well, now, if you notice, you follow suit, you see Ford. Ford's got a really nice EV. I even saw a uh, Rolls Royce has a EV also right there's not enough charging stations there yeah, is yeah, enough, yeah there's not enough of them out there uh some of them are at different levels so they take longer to charge and so that's the that's the gray area we have right now is that okay. uh the cat's been you know let out the bag but there isn't enough there for us to feel that the number of people that are buying the ev charging stations so it's a huge opportunity it's a it's major. I, I literally just had a young man on Instagram reach out to me. He's building a 500 unit apartment building. And he said, I'm going to need EV charging. The, the, it, they're not breaking ground for a year, but he knows yeah. ahead of time I got to do it. Right. Yeah. So the opportunity is everywhere. 
It is in places you wouldn't even imagine, but okay. it is. Yeah. So that's where we point people to. We let you know, okay, well, look, well, here's an industry. Um, who do you know in that space? And I really believe that people don't, people do not think enough about who they know. Mm -hmm. They don't, exactly. they don't. That's a huge resource. Who I do agree. I know? Yeah, I agree. I tell them this all the time that like on average, you know, back in the day, most people had at least 200 Facebook uh, friends. Now you got all these other platforms. So on average, even a regular most nine to five person has a few thousand friends or fans across their social media. Those are yep. asses, guys. You sit there and you go live and you sip your little drink uh, after work and you complain about your boss and all of that. And you got like 15 to 100 people sitting on the live stream with you. Did you know all you had to do was change the conversation? Those same people Absolutely. on there, right? You just change the conversation. And this has built in, this business model has built in virility to it. So my point is this, watch this. Pay attention, y'all. You have on average 500 to a couple thousand friends. Guess what your friends have on average 500 to a couple thousand. So those 200 friends that you have are not really 200 because they got 200 too. So you do the math, right? So all you have to do is craft a message. Everything starts with a message or an offer. Craft a message. Now, one another thing that she said just a minute ago, let me put it in, in uh, this channel's terms. There is a lot of demand, but there is a lack of supply, right? Uh, 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 um, well, the Bible says, uh, um, what is it? The, the the work is plenty or the harvest is plenty, but the laborers are few. Right. You know, you yeah, know what I'm talking it. about? The scripture, the harvest is plenty, meaning there's a lot of work, but there's only, there's not enough people to get it out there. So everybody's talking about the great opportunity it is and everything. And there's people searching for it. And this is what I teach y'all when y'all want to make a lot of money. Find these pockets where there's high demand, but there's nobody else out there promoting it. That's when things become easy for you, where it becomes so easy that it almost seems too good to be true. Is it a trick yeah. or something? That's how this opportunity is right now. There's a lot of people that know about solar, a lot of people that mm -hmm. buy it. Go search the Google uh, um, keyword planner and you look at the, the, the amount of people searching for a solar panel installation and all of that. It's a lot. But it's not many companies. It's not many people that are there that are going to be the supply. All right. So I'm sorry. I'm talking a lot. I'm super excited. No, I love how you said that. You actually interject the things that that make a lot of sense. Like you said on your channel, how you speak about certain things, and a lot of people just don't. They just don't share the the information like they should. I was literally at my dentist office talking to the my dental assistant, and she asked me what I did, and I told her. And the dentist overheard and said, hey, I need solar on my house and I need solar on my business. You're not talking. You're not yeah. you're not sharing what you do. I've yeah. never paid for a lead. I have to tell you this. And I've never paid for a lead ever. People contact me and say, hey, I heard you do solar or somebody told me that you do. And that's that's literally how it happened. That's what I tell them. Assets partnership assets and people that is that's the way to wealth even the bible we, we was uh, reading the scriptures the other day and it says uh, uh a rich man make it many friends i tell people flip that around and you'll know the formula to getting rich flip that around many friends make it rich so <laughs> like your network is your net worth is literally right there in the Bible. <laughs> Biblical business principles, y'all. Like, dude, if you don't talk, a closed mouth don't get fed. It's so many sayings that let mm -hmm. you... She, she said, I don't have to buy leads. And that's the truth, guys. A lot of the people that you already know can fund your life. You just don't give them anything that can help. This right here, everybody that you know, this can help them. You can literally join our affiliate program today and just go talk to everybody that you know that's a homeowner or, or a car owner in some way or another, it can change things for them. Uh, and we'll get into that as well. Uh,